this this is my opinion on the the whole Andrew Ruiz versus AJ rematch. You know, maybe going to uh, Saudi Arabia. I think it's dumb. I think it's uh it's not fair to the boxing fans that's have that have been around um for quite some time that's been holding AJ down has been holding Andrew Ruiz down and um I think having a fight in Saudi Arabia does nothing uh for the sport of boxing I think it uh basically shows that um Edward Hearn is a manipulator he says uh that the fight should be in the UK and you know Cardiff and this and the third blah 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 woo 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 and how much the fans have been getting have been uh, how much the fans have been uh, taking over supposedly the sport of boxing by way of filling out like places like the O2 arena and stuff like that and then all of a sudden you you're hearing these rumors about Saudi Arabia and it's all making sense now it's all about the money it ain't about you as AJ fans you as matchroom boxing fans and stuff like that you are you 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 are it's, it's all about the money don't let them dudes fool you when they say things like when they say things like the uk fans deserve it we doing it for this we doing it for that we treat our fans well and stuff like that aj has done this aj has done that he didn't do it for you. He did it for himself. You see what I'm saying? He the only one. He ain't, he ain't going in there in the ring to beat somebody for you guys. You guys just happen to be there. Oh, they got the Saginaw African Culture Festival. I'm gonna go to that on my lunchtime. See, they got some need. Um. Yeah. And that's point blank. Period. When you listen, when you listen to all these things that these two guys have been saying, AJ and Edwin Hearn. They basically sound the fucking same. They basically sound the fucking same. I, 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 I. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Dasa, Dasa, that guy, that guy. Same shit over and over again. And then when you hear these rumors about Saudi Arabia being thrown around, me as a fan, I'm like, I ain't watching that shit if it go over there. I ain't watching it. I'm turning the TV off. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not watching it. I'm not gonna be a part of the, the shenanigans. If I know, if I know I am not if I know as a boxing fan, I'm not getting the fight that I'm wanting, that I'm wanting, and I'm still getting screwed around with where the fights happen, that's feasible for me to watch. Or feasible for for actual boxing fans to watch, because if somebody wants to make a quick buck, literally, I'm not, I'm not watching it. Like like like, like Tyson Fury versus Otto Wallen. I hear that's pay per view in the UK. I'm not watching it. I refuse. I refuse to watch it. Why the fuck I'm gonna watch this dude? Fight this guy out of Wallen when I already know the outcome. Why would I do that? Even if I was a Tyson Fury fan, why would I want to watch that? Why would I want to stay up to 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, pay pay per view for it, to watch that fight? Yeah, we got to go out there and support him. But he keep giving you these bullshit fights. And you, and you don't say shit. You don't say nothing. You sit back and you and you you open up your legs on your back and you just take it. What kind of shit is that? Literally, you just sit back and just take it. But how much The real question is how much dick can you take? Cuz cuz boxing fans have been taking it for a very long time not getting the fights that you want to see and then you get this 
You get things like this Saudi Arabia thing over and over again. If, that, if this is true, man, if, 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 if this is true, if you want to watch it, that's your fucking business. But you're condoning it. You're flat out condoning it. You're, you're condoning them. You can don't you can don't you basically saying it's okay. It's okay. It's not. It's not okay. To keep watching fights, to keep watching fighters fight and not fight who the people who they want you to fight or not even close on the caliper of who they should be fighting. Not even, not even the caliper. It's like watching a grown ass man fight a preschooler. I don't, I don't see how you can condone this, man. And all this AJ shit, all that talk, talk he doing right now, you should have. That's what you should have been doing from the get go. At least, at least that probably could, you could have tricked yourself. It ain't about being the strongest boxer. It ain't about being the best boxer. It ain't being. A, it ain't about all that shit that Anthony Joshua was talking about. It's about being the best person that day. The best man that day. The best man in that moment. If you can't do that, then you know. If you can't be that. That person. But you could be the best boxer. But you could be the, 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 the strongest. The most physical. The best physique boxer. It don't mean shit. It means absolutely nothing. Absolutely. You know that note. I'll shout out to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.